wondering when I talk about before I order my car parts to the States, we're up in Canada. I live close to the border, just to show you the road around here is Canada. Those trees to the right, that's the States. So this is our border up here. Nothing fancy. It's all farmland down here for the most part. And just forest like this, so markers telling you that that's American property, American land. So this is when you're down here you got to turn off your Wi-Fi and everything because it picks you up as if you're in the States and then you get charged for roaming on your cell phone bill. So just thought I'd show you guys while we're cruising down here a little bit. This road everybody likes racing down so if you see coming up they put all these speed bumps in here to try to slow the people down because I guess if you wipe out on this road and you end up over the border you get in trouble and I don't know how that works is it a Canadian thing is it an American thing who knows just thought I'd throw it in there show you guys a little bit of the cruise down the back roads here. Hey everybody, back with another video. As you can see by the shades, we finally got a day of sun out here, so out cruising around doing a few videos today. So make sure you stay tuned. This one will be out in the next day probably. I'm a bit slacking a little bit, but been busy with life, so we'll get this one out there. And I guess the next couple videos will look similar because I'm going to do a bunch today while I got the nice weather out here. So according to the weather app, we're back to another week of rain again. So surprise, surprise. But whatever. Take advantage of our sunny day here. Go for a cruise in the car. And in today's video, for some of you that might not know, I guess if you have the Mustang, you'll know, but I haven't really seen too much on YouTube. There's a thing in here that'll show you your G-force when you're braking, cornering, and launching. So I'm not sure how accurate it is, but it's in there, so I figured I'll show you guys how it works, and we'll do a little test. If I can get a decent area with not too many cars, we'll do a couple hard launches and maybe a few windy roads, see what picks up on the meter. So. Stay tuned, I'll show you how it works. All right, so when you're in the dash here, this is just what I have it set at. I got it set to like this track mode. You hit your little down arrow here. You can see it gives you your inlet temp and all that stuff. If you hit it again, you have your little G-force reader see hold OK to reset same as everything else you hold it down it'll scroll over and reset and then as you drive and brake and turn it'll pick it up and tell you what your G's are so we'll go for a little drive I'm just parked in the parking lot here I thought it'd be easier to show you guys but yeah won't go too crazy because you can see it's only four degrees outside still pretty chilly but we'll see what she can do. All right, so you can see I got it set back at zero. You can reset it as you drive. It's just not gonna pick up, obviously, the momentum you have already, so if you're already driving, it'll be less. But I'll just show you the braking part of it. Doing 70. You drive and you just hit the brakes. You can see, 0.49 wasn't crazy slamming on the brakes or anything. But you can see it, you hit it again, reset. So if we give her a little boot. Almost. You can see it picked up acceleration a little bit as well. Let's wrap the stop sign here. Still, but you can 
CNC that picks it all up. 0.49 for acceleration. And then I'll just reset it one more time here. If we do some quick turns, camera goes all nuts, but you can see it picks it up as well. Left and right. Like I said, I don't know how accurate it is, but it's a pretty cool little feature in there. Just to see how everything works. I'm sure if you're doing this on the drag strip, you know, with the sticky with the sticky surface and your tires that aren't hockey pucks because it's so cold outside, I'm sure you'll get a lot better, but just a cool little thing to have in there. Like I said, you can reset it. And then obviously if you give it a little boot, it picks it up a little bit, but like you see there, it's 0.3 now because we already had the momentum of the car. Soft braking, you get about 0.2. Not too bad. All right, so I figured you guys will go back on the dash. It's a little too hard to record safely with the camera in my hand doing this type of stuff. So I figured throw you guys up here, put you in the sun now. But anyway, I figure I'll do a little bit of just normal driving. We'll see what it can do. We just took the one corner there, saying it's 0.40. It's not like a crazy corner or anything. That's just making a left hand turn. But we'll keep going for a bit. We'll see, you know, average driving. I'm not expecting anything nuts. And like I said, it's cold. It's been raining here forever. Got the stats for January I seen on the news. We had one day without rain. And a few of those days were like flood the whole city rain. I know the the flats were all closed. There was they always call it an emergency, but give it a couple days, the water goes down. But I know it flooded a bunch of stores and everything, so it was pretty hectic for a few days, that's for sure. So, like I said earlier, we're taking advantage of the sunny day we have finally and do a little fun with the car. We'll see you. There. Long right hand turn. It's telling us it's 0.34. So, I'm not sure how accurate all this stuff is because I've never actually done anything to do with the G-Force. I've known anyway I don't know any other cars that have this in there and I've never flown a jet so that's the only when I think g-force I think like fighter jet that type of stuff not a Mustang but we'll see we'll reset it here one more time we'll get off this main road to about 100k and it's only 0.1 because 
really get no force when you're already moving, right? Do one more turn here and give her a little launch and see what comes up with.